I'm willing to place a bet that nobody that has a blue tick on Twitter is completely disconnected from what's going on in L'Affaire Elon Musk. Ever since he took over Twitter, one of the first announcements he made was that the blue tick is going to be democratized. It's going to be a paid feature and anyone who can afford it can basically get a blue tick. Because before this whole thing happened, the blue tick was like Twitter royalty, right guys? Okay, the four of us, confession, are all blue ticks. We didn't ask for it. We are blue ticks by virtue of being journalists here at India Today. But there was a sense of royalty to it. It was almost like a bit of a caste system. Many people look at it as a division within Twitter. But the intention of it to begin with was, was important because there were impersonations, mm -hmm. credible sources, credible persons, etc. That's of course blurred over the years because we know what Twitter has become. But Preeti, you're a blue tick. Are you going to pay for it? Eight dollars a month? I don't, or whatever it is no, in like India. The, whatever it might be. You know, the, the, you know that's a conundrum and I, I'm, I'm thinking about that <laughs> because but the, what I'm looking at is uh, Shiv, if you can start buying out blue ticks. For yeah. example, you know, Twitter uh, is a place which is full of trolls. So how do you distinguish, at least that's what used to be my benchmark of taking somebody But there are many trolls that already have true, blue ticks. True, true, true. But still, you know, there's still a barrier <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it used to be, okay, fine, I'd only react if it's a blue tick. Now yeah. what, dude, everybody else would be buying out blue ticks. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm still on the fence. On yeah, we still, we still, yeah, we still don't yeah. know what that barrier is true. going to be. Is the, is the only barrier going to be art dollar hai to lelo blue tick? Is that, you know, yeah. then everyone can have it. Exactly. Because eight dollars is not a big deal for, for, for a lot of people who would want a blue tick. Absolutely. And Obviously, they are going to work it out as per the Indian market as yeah. well. So it's not going to be exactly eight dollars. It'll here be much in less. Yeah. It will be much lesser. But like uh, Preeti pointed out, it's a conundrum. I'm not very sure whether you know I'll be paying for it or not. But because it gives me the impression now you can buy credibility. Hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody can buy it, all you need is some money in your pocket. Then how am I supposed to then believe? Because I attach credibility to an account when I saw that blue tick that, okay, worth taking note of or taking seriously for that matter. Yeah. But now I'm not very sure about that. Gaurav, what do you, will, you, will you pay the money to, to keep your blue tick or wait for someone to pay it for you? The company will pay. <laughs> the company will pay. <laughs> no, but, but it is a conundrum. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a it, dilemma. It's actually not. I mean, you know, this is, this is such blatant double standards. Uh, you know, we all talk about democracy. We all talk about, um, you know, moving towards a society where there isn't this caste system. And then we only want to interact with those who have blue ticks. Then, That's so unfair. Then remove blue ticks entirely. Yeah, absolutely. No. I mean, what is this blue tick? The blue tick only says, fine, this person, uh, this is the authentic account of a Shivaru or a Preeti yeah. Chaudhary, uh, you know, or a Gaurav Savant uh, or a Polami Saha. Um, that, that's all, right? But the intention was not to be a, like a caste system or your superior. No, but, you know, it was that, about credibility and, you know, validation. It, I'm sorry, the, you know, why think only somebody with a blue tick is credible? Well, somebody who doesn't have a blue tick is equally credible. I agree. Equally, yeah. Yeah. equally credible when, Gaurav, there is somebody. No. So instead of a Gaurav Savant, if it's a picture of an XYZ and the picture says uh, journalist, Right? No, that's and not the then, point. No, the point so is, the verification is the that point. it's you I'm talking to. So that it's is the, Savan, so it's, it's just you know, authentic. To be someone yeah, else. It, there is, so there is a difference between an authentic account and a credible account. So you know, let let's be very clear. Credibility does not come with a blue tick. Credibility comes from what you've been doing all along. But a person who doesn't have a blue tick and does good work, I will follow that person and I will interact with that but person. But if you, 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 you will suddenly, happens, no? theoretically no. you will have an ocean of blue ticks now. When you sure. open the gates to a paid blue tick, you'll have an ocean of blue ticks. How do you know which of those? There might be a person who has absolutely no credibility who can afford a blue tick. What about that? What sure. I'm, I'm just asking. Or may not be authentic. As or may not be authentic. As so, you just differentiated. No, so, no. so that is the, that is where you know you use your brain to know whether this is the correct thing or it's not the correct thing. How? And that is where you always cross check. What is journalism all about? Journalism is all about cross checking your facts. Otherwise, you know how many people have gone wrong. You know those who yeah, claimed but, those who claimed. That you know, but, we've but, done our fact but check. But Twitter, 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 Twitter and social done. media. I mean, but, yeah. but the journalism so then, aspect is one part of it. So it's then, also about the experience of interacting with people. So then, interact not just about facts. So it's then like we the must number interact of people with who fell for that parody account, which was Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. Interact yes. with everyone. Interact so with everyone, people. irrespective of blue tick. I don't interact only with people <laughs> who have a blue tick. I interact with anyone and everyone I may want to. The only people I don't interact with are those who abuse. Okay. One last round of questions on this. Polami, would you pay for the blue tick or would you rather not have blue ticks at all? Everyone loses their blue tick. Just make it like reboot the whole system. Let's not have any blue ticks. 
new oh, system. That I'm very clear. Reboot the system. So yeah. evolve a different different way to you know establish credibility yeah. of accounts without a blue tick. Or without a blue tick, because you like you said at the start, Shiv, it does give an impression, and I get where Gaurav is coming from of some sort of royalty, Twitter yeah, yeah. royalty. It does, so. it does. It does give yeah. that impression and I'm all for you just completely doing away with that caste based system as Gaurav is pointing out. Let, let it be, that let there be some sort of a great leveler. Yeah. Nobody has a tick but you find a way of uh, saying okay this one is an authentic account and the other one that is uh, you know which also says Polymi Saha is not authentic mm. that person is impersonated. But then that, that's pretty, then that boils down to the same thing. No, if there is a marker of credibility or uh, authenticity whether you call it a blue you tick know, or that's something being else, evolved, the same thing. that's being evolved. For example, uh, you know, anybody who's associated with the Chinese government, so hmm. they say Chinese state affiliated yeah, to yeah. person. A diplomat of a country, they say so. Yeah. And similarly, uh, they're evolving a system. If there's a government official, they say it's an official account of so and so. Okay. So that is system what Musk is tried to roll out yesterday. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So but he rolled, it, he rolled it right he back to so everyone. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a new yeah, thing. It. It's evolving. Yeah. It's evolving. It's a great way to stay in touch with people across the world. It's the fastest way that news is traveling across the world. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there will be hits, there will be misses, but I think it's a great platform where, oh, where the best thing I like but is fake news is being called out because all those who thought news was a one-way street. Yeah. I am so happy news is no longer a one-way no, street. No, but fake and news is also being fake news is being called through out. Twitter. Twitter. You know, yeah. all these people yeah. who claim we were fact-checking thing and we did this and we did that, <laughs> they are being called out and I'm but so happy about this. But everyone is being called out. Yeah. I'm it's, it's, a, it's a place full of fake news the, as well. I'm, I'm so thrilled with the system but that these Mathadishas uh, you know, who was sitting there uh, claiming to be the last okay. one in news, they have, they stand exposed. It's Next time, and they're retracting you. their just stories so and they're apologizing and so cool. Okay. Because some don't last apologize, comment. that's yeah. the problem. Okay. <laughs> the, the next time, time now, <laughs> now, now we're just waiting for legal action to follow. The next time, time, the next time uh, <laughs> we do the Democratic Newsroom, there's a good chance that Polomi, Gaurav, Preeti and I will not have not our meetings. Yeah. So, so you won't know, so you won't know who to follow. So, you know, if there are people out there impersonating us, you may not know, but hopefully, you know, we'll still be on Twitter.